have among yourselves the same attitude that is also yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Lord, the Lord is my, is my light, light and, my and my salvation. salvation. Whom should I fear? fear? The, the Lord, Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom am I afraid? I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this hour and purpose that I came to this hour. Just as shall walk before him, and salvation alone will they of his steps. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed. believe what we have heard. To whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up like a sapling before him, like a shoot from the parched earth. There was in him no stately bearing to make us look at him, nor appearance that would attract us to him. He was spurned and avoided by men, a man of suffering, accustomed to infirmity, one of those from whom men hide their faces burned, and we held him in no esteem. Without cause, they set their snare for me. Without cause, they dug a pit for me. But let those who favor me just cause shout for joy and be glad. May they ever say, Exalted be the Lord, who delights in the peace of his loyal servant. Then my tongue shall recount your justice, declare your praise, all the day long. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed Yet it was our infirmities that he bore, our sufferings that he endured. While we thought of him as stricken, as one smitten by God and afflicted, but he was pierced for our offenses, crushed for our sins. 
Upon him was the chastisement that makes us whole. By his stripes we were healed. I waited, waited for the Lord, who bent down and heard my cry, drew me out of the pit of destruction, out of the mud of the swamp, set my feet upon rock, steadied my steps, and put a new song in my mouth, a hymn to our God. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagles' wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. Lord, Lord hear my, my prayer. prayer. In, in your faithfulness, faithfulness listen, listen to my pleading. Answer me in your justice. justice. The, the enemy has pursued me. They have crushed my life to the ground. They, they have, have left, left me in darkness, darkness like, like those, those long dead. dead. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction. And those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life. Justice shall walk before him. And salvation along the way of his steps. The fourth station, Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed. Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. God, God is our refuge and our strength, strength and ever-present ever help in distress. Thus we do not fear though earth be shaken, and mountains quake to the depths of the sea, though its waters rage and foam, and the mountains totter on its surging, the Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The 
of station. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We with Simon of Cyrene help the Savior bear your cross. Step by step we slowly glean what truth, faith, and prayer will cost. Not my will, but yours be done. Rejoice to the extent that you share in the sufferings of Christ, so that when his glory is revealed, you may also rejoice exultantly. To do your will is my delight. My God, your law is in my heart. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Seek the A faithful friend is a sturdy shelter. He who finds one finds a treasure. A faithful friend is beyond price. No sum can balance his worth. A faithful friend is a life-saving remedy, such as he who fears God finds. For he who fears God behaves accordingly, and his friend will be like himself. Even when I walk through a dark valley, I fear no harm, for you are at my side. Your God and your staff give me courage. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but after that can do no more. I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. At the time, all discipline seems a cause not for joy, 
but for pain. Yet later it brings the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who are tainted by it. So strengthen your drooping hands and your weak knees. Make straight paths for your feet, that what is lame may not be dislocated, but healed. Who is like the Lord, our God and throne on high, looking, looking down, down on heaven and earth? earth. The, the Lord, Lord raises the needy from the dust, dust lifts, lifts the poor, the poor from, from the ash heap, seats them with princes, princes the princes of the people. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ directs the The Lord has spent his anger, poured out his blazing wrath. He has kindled a fire in Zion that has consumed her foundations. The kings of the earth did not believe, nor any of the world's inhabitants. That enemy or foe could enter the gates of Jerusalem. Because of the sins of her prophets and the crimes of her priests, who shed in her midst the blood of the just, they staggered blindly in the streets, soiled with blood, so that people could not touch even their garments. In you, Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Listen to me and save me. Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. For indeed the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs of those that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. At that time people will say to the mountains, Fall upon us, and to the hills, Cover us. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you See, my servant shall prosper. He shall be raised high and greatly exalted. Even as many were amazed at him, so marred was his look beyond that of man, and his appearance beyond that of mortals. So shall he startle many nations. Because of him, kings shall stand speechless. For those who have not been told shall see. Those who have not heard shall ponder it. 
You have have done done great great things, O God, who is your equal. equal. You You have have sent me many many bitter afflictions, but but once more revive me. Restore my honor, turn turn and comfort me, that that I may praise you with the lyre, for your your faithfulness, my God, God, and and sing to you with the heart, O Holy One of Israel. I am the Good Shepherd, And I know mine, and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for my sheep. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Naked to the sun and clouds, and the chairs and walking stair, of the was harshly treated, he submitted and opened not his mouth, like a lamb led to the slaughter, or a sheep before the shears. He was silent and opened not his mouth. Oppressed and condemned, he was taken away. And who would have thought any more of his destiny? Many dogs surround me, a pack of evildoers closes in on me. So So wasted are my hands and feet that I can count all my bones. They stare at me and gloat. They They divide my garments among them. For For my clothing clothing they cast lots. Whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served but to serve, and give his life as a ransom for many. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. While the soldiers throw their dice, they ignore their victims' groans, lost to Come, all you who pass by the way, look and see whether there is any suffering like my suffering, which has been dealt me when the Lord afflicted me on the day of his blazing wrath. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Why so far from my call for help, from my cries of anguish? All who see me mock me. They curl their lips and cheer. They shake their heads at me. You relied on the Lord. Let him deliver you. If he loves you, let him rescue you. You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your
I will pour out on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and petition. And they shall look on him whom they have thrust through, and they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only son, and they shall grieve over him as one grieves over a firstborn. With full voice I cry to the Lord. With full voice I beseech the Lord. Before God I pour out my complaint, lay bare my distress. My spirit is faint within me, but you know my path. Along the way I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. I look to my right hand, but no friend is there. There is no escape for me. No one cares for me. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The thirteenth station, the body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they take the body down and they wrap it in a sheet, in their hearts they hear the sound that his lips no more repeat. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them, and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord, when I open your graves and have you rise from them. O my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live, and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. You who fear the Lord, give praise. All descendants of Jacob, give honor. Show reverence, all descendants of Israel. For God has not spurned or ashamed the misery of this poor wretch. He did not turn away from me, but heard me when I cried out. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps. The fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Quiet is the hollowed cave, peace and tears and grief descend, mourners Are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. I keep the Lord always before me, 
With the Lord at my right, I shall never be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad, my soul rejoices, my body also dwells secure. For you will not abandon me to Sheol, nor let your servants see the pit. You will show me the path to life, abounding joy in your presence, the delight at your right hand forever. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. Just as shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. O God, our thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are our, your ways our ways. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are your ways above our ways and your thoughts above our thoughts. But we turn to you for mercy, for you are generous and forgiving. Lord, grant us wisdom that we may discern your way for us, and grant us the courage to accept it. And with your grace, may we persevere on the path of salvation. We ask this in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 